Hello and welcome to today's edition of the News in Brief on Graphic Online. In the headlines, Bank of Ghana directs financial institutions to accept only Ghana card for all financial transactions effective July 1. Roads Minister pursues staff awarding road contracts to themselves. MMDA is charged to intensify education on Operation Clean Your Frontage and four persons dead and 39 injured in Kintampo Techimai accident. And now the news in brief. With effect from July 1, 2022, the Ghana card will be the only identification card for all transactions at financial institutions in the country. According to the Bank of Ghana, Ghanaians must update their records with their respective financial institutions with the Ghana card. In a statement issued by the Central Bank on Wednesday, January 19, all Bank of Ghana regulated financial institutions are to accept only the Ghana card for all transactions. The directive affects all financial institutions, including banks, specialized deposit-taking institutions, non-deposit-taking financial institutions, payment service providers and dedicated electronic money issuers, as well as Forex Bureau and Credit Reference Bureau. Rhodes Minister Mr. Kwesia Mwakwata is warning senior civil servants and engineers in the Ministry of Roads and Highways who award road contracts to themselves to desist from such acts. He says it is not proper for officers in the ministry responsible for awarding contracts and paying contractors to be setting up road construction companies to compete with the contractors. Speaking in a radio interview with a crab based Oman FM Wednesday morning, Mr. Makwata said he has been receiving anonymous letters and unfounded allegations due to his fight against such workers. However, he says he will not be deterred by their actions since he has nothing to hide. He says he has instructed his lawyers to send copies of the said letters containing the allegations to the investigating agencies to look into it. Over the minister, from time in Mongolia, you know, engineers and any company uh, for a war, they have their own companies, they have established their own companies. No, now, one year, you know, I do my own. No problem, one friend, you do contact us here, a war guy now. If they are not aware of this, and I want to contact us a company for a human. You know, how can you belong to a ministry? Ah, you know, you're a country, you're my contract, a checker. Now, some of your crop for one, some of your crop for one, one of our companies. The Greater Accra Regional Minister, Mr. Henry Quarty, is asking all metropolitan, municipal and district assemblies in the region to adequately prepare to enforce the operation Clean Your Frontage Initiative come February 1. He wants them to intensify education one week ahead of the deadline on February 1 by involving workers and national service personnel in the education drive. Speaking at a meeting with MCEs and their technical teams on the implementation of the operation Clean Your Frontage, the minister said the MMDAs must involve over 10,000 people who will assist in sensitizing the public about the initiative before February 1. And on the first of February, every business in the assembly must, and I say must, so long as they are great accra, they are within, they are operating within the assembly, they are staff must give us one hour of their time and their t-shirts by the roadside, sharing leaflets and making that awareness stronger. So all stakeholders have been invited to this meeting. The truck truck drivers, the queen mothers, the guys, everybody. Um, a week before the 1st of February, we need some 10 to 80,000 people on the streets on that day, all in t-shirts making sure that that awareness is sent out there. In our final story, four persons have died while 39 others sustained varying injuries in an accident on the Kintampo Techimai Highway Wednesday morning. The accident occurred when a Kumasi-bound Kia Grand Bed bus from Bogatanga crashed into a DAF articulated truck from Burkina Faso, which had broken down in front of the Teobodom Senior High School in the Tachima North District. The incident happened at about 3.50 a.m. and the 39 passengers 
who sustained injuries are battling for their lives at the Techiman Holy Family Hospital. Two of them are said to be in critical condition. The Bono East Regional Director of the National Road Safety Authority, Mr. Imano Ichampo Pari, confirming the incident to Graphic Online, said the driver of the Grand Bird bus crashed into the rear end of the stationary truck while driving at a high speed. News in Brief was brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Thank you for watching today's edition. Stay safe and protect yourself from COVID-19. For more news, visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at Graphic GH. I'm Ama Echan Amankwa Befi. Subscribe now.